So, so we got some new Ignista support. So for those who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! in Ignista, that is the uh, set that I played in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. And we got some new support for it. And it's not really... It's not really just purely Ignis' support. You can actually kind of splash this in the pure cyber, in the pure cybers uh, code talker deck if you really want to. But um, the the main link monsters are not re the main the main monsters not really. They're more Ignis to focus. But the extra deck monsters you can definitely splash that in. But in saying that, let's go through them for this video. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I am actually streaming this on twitch.tv forward slash Galaxy, So make sure you check out that link in the description. So our first card we want to look at is Curry Kul Curry Link at Ignista. Level 1 Dark Cybers Effect Monster with 300 attack and 200 defense. Guy uses this. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Quick effect. You can tribute one Ignista monster, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. When a card or effect is activated that targets a Cybus monster you control and you control a Cybus monster special summon for the extra deck, you can tribute this card and negate that effect. So this is actually a pretty interesting bounce effect card, but it's also a nice special summon. However, you have to tribute at an, Ign an Ignista monster, which I think one of the monsters we actually do has a graveyard effect. So we'll get into that shortly. Backup at Ignista. So this is backup secretary as a, uh, a Tatuna monster, believe it or not. We do have a new synchro, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, so this is a level three dark cyber tuna effect monster with 1200 attack, 800 defense. So same as backup secretary. Uh, you can only use this first and second effect of this card saying once per turn. If you control a Cybus monster special summon from the extra deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one dark Cybus monster from your deck to your hand, except itself, then discard one card. So this is actually a nice recurring effect because if you can normal or special summon this card, even if you start off with this card, this card is actually really, really a really nice a focus card that you can actually use to actually start with your climbing play. So I'm actually kind of excited to see. I definitely think this card will definitely see some play. Uh, then we move on to Wizard at Ignista, which is a level four Dark Cybers effect monster with 1800 attack and 800 defense. Notice how most of these monsters are sharing the same stat as um, the, uh, uh, the Playmaker monsters. So Cybers Wizard, uh, backup Secretary and Link Karibo as well. Uh, you can only use the use the first and second effect of this card saying once per turn. If you control a Cybus monster special summon from the extra deck, I noticed a gimmick here. Uh, you can target one dark Cybus monster in your graveyard, special summon both this card from your hand and that monster in defense position. Also for the rest, you cannot special summon monster for the rest of this turn except Cybus monsters. You can banish this card from your field or graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, change its battle position. That is actually a really nice card. The fact that you're able to um, recur a card from, you're able to revive a card from the graveyard and also special summon this card. You can do some nice Xyz plays as well as you can summon the Synchro Monster we're about to actually look at. So there's a lot of um, good cards that have been announced for the main deck. I definitely don't, I think this one will see the least amount of play, but I definitely think it's going to see play. So three cool cards. We're going to move on. Uh, to Code Igniter. This is actually a new Xyz monster. It is a Dark Cybers Xyz monster uh, with 2300 attack and 2000 defense points. Um, I'm just going to make a comment here. I am not a fan of the art. It doesn't look... I think the the the, I, the design, don't get me wrong, it looks good, but I think the art, it just doesn't sit suit that art style. I don't know why. It's just not sitting with me properly. Anyway, uh, you can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is Xyz Summon, you can add one Cybus Ritual Monster from your deck to your hand. There is no Cybus new. There is no new Cybus Ritual Monster yet, and I think you can actually add the newest one that was. Um, I think it came in. Oh, I forgot. I'm blanking on the name. Uh, Cyberstorm Access. I think that was the one. It was the one with. Um, it was the one with Singularity. I know that one. Um, so you can add that card from your deck to your hand. And I think that level one Cybers monster is actually really good. Uh, you can detach one material from this card. Ritual summon one. Whoa, what? You can detach one material from this card. Ritual summon one ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or your field whose total level equals or exceeds its level. So this card is an inbuilt ritual spell. Whoa, okay. 
Uh, this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material. You can add one eye trap monster uh, trap from your deck to your hand. Okay. I think that's the first time I've seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. How you have a monster. Basically, you can stack it. Get a ritual monster. So you basically almost get a ritual monster for free in this in this card. So you get him and then a ritual monster, which you can do Cyber uh, Cyber's Wizard, uh, Cyber's Magician if you really want to. Or you could just do the level one, which I think is actually quite good. God damn, that's actually really nice. Uh, that's the cover card. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, Firewall Saber Dragon. This is a level seven Dark Cyber Synchro Monster with 2300 attack and 2000 defense. Uh, you can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned, you can target one Cybus monster in your graveyard or banishment, add it to your hand. You can target one other Cybus monster you control that has a level. This card's level, this card's level that monster. What? You can target one other Cybus monster you control that has a level. This card's level become. I'm guessing it becomes that monster's level. So I guess you can summon this card and then you stack it into a level four. I don't know. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard as link material, you can add one ice spell from your deck to your hand. Was that link material before? Yes, it was. Okay, so I'm guessing you use this as link material and this as link material. And then it comes into this card. So Ak Ac Code Talker Adignista, link five. Uh, by the way, just... Interestingly enough, this one is not the Adignista, so this does not count as, as an Ignista monster. Um, arrows, left, bottom left, bottom, bottom right, right. So that is literally boom, boom, boom. So, okay, it's all the bottom ones. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is League Summon, you can, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon other monsters for the rest of the turn. Also, special summon as many Cyburst monsters with 2300 attack from your graveyard as possible to your zones. This card points to, and if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you contribute one link monster this card points to, negate the activation, and if you do, banish that card. This, I feel like, is a climber to what could be a very big play. Uh, this card is a link five, so you could technically almost extra link here if you really wanted to, or you can get set up for the arrival at Ignista. So it's definitely a bridge between, um, and I feel like it's kind of a mixture between Access Code Talker, but with a hint of, um, but a hint of, uh, Dark Templar adding Nisto. So that's uh, kind of interesting in terms of the design. And it's definitely a dark adding Nisto as well. And only has 2300 attack. Um, this card gains. So this card could gain up to 1500 attack. Unless you can summon to the other side, which you can't. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, that's kind of a let. Actually, the first effect is the first effect is good because you can actually special summon like multiple monsters to like field your field. But, um, this card, I feel like this card's first effect is a little disappointing in terms of the attack boosting effect, but it's, uh, it's second, uh, it's second effect is all right. You just get that negate, but you have to tribute a link monster. I, I, I feel like this could be used for some plays in terms of the spamming the field, but I don't feel like it has any other use, which is kind of interesting. Then we have, oh, not that one. Uh, ties, ties. Ties? 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 I want to say Ties. I think that's the name. That's supposed to be the name. Anyway, it's Ties. It's a normal spell. You can only activate uh, one card with this card's name once per turn. Reveal one Cybus monster in your hand. Apply this effect based on its attribute. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, except Cybus monsters. Dark. Special summon the reveal monster. If you do, add one non-dark level 4 or lower cybers monster from your deck to your hand. Non-dark. Shuffle the reveal monster into the deck. And if you do, add one adding Nista monster with different attributes from your deck to your hand. Okay. That is actually a really nice recursion effect. I have just picked up another thing with this deck now. It seems like the main core of this deck is the dark, the dark element, which 
if you actually watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, it actually makes a lot of sense because I was the one that was actually piloting the Ad Ignista and he was the one actually making the things go. And then the elements would just be a bond, like the other attributes would just be like built on top of those. And it's good to see that I think um, Flame, Earth and Aqua were all on the same team because I don't know if you guys can actually see this. But they're all on the uh, the actual... Oh, Windy and uh, Lightning too. I didn't even see that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually really nice. Um, I'm actually pretty okay with that. So that's um, that's quite cute because it's actually like the, them uniting to fight with I for the final battle of the uh, survival of the human race, of the uh, artificial intelligence. So, yeah. And then there's partners. Then there's partners. Pie partners. Uh, normal trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target face-up cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cyber monsters you control with 2300 original attack. Negate their effects until the end of this turn. You can banish this card from your grave, then target one of your banished cyber monsters special summoner. This is actually quite nice. I definitely think this is going to see a fair bit of play. Uh, the only thing is it's a, it is a trap card, but I definitely feel like... If, um, if you're spamming the field with just um, Ad Ignista and also Cyburst Monsters, you just play this and you're like, okay, boom, 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 negate, let's go. Um, and then definitely this guy would actually help see that card see play. So that is quite interesting. So not bad, not bad support coming out for the Ad Ignista stuff. I'm actually quite happy with it. Um, and I'm quite excited to see where they go, uh, where they go next for this set. So... Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on the video and comment down below what you are most excited for, for Alliance Insight. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!